In this video I would like to show how to build an interactive dashboard using Excel maps, pivot tables, and slicers. Let's start with a sales table, having columns for sales amount, date, category, and so on. First, insert a pivot table. Then, put your regions on rows and sales on values. Your region names need to be consistent with Excel map names. To connect the data sheet for the map with my pivot table I'll use a VLOOKUP function secured by if error. If VLOOKUP returns an error. If error function will force zero. Copy this formula for all regions. Let's check if the filled map works by defining color levels. Now we can insert a few slicers that will allow us to filter the map. Cut the slicers and paste them into the map sheet. Place them close to the map. Then go back to the pivot table and cut and paste it to the map sheet. Now every refresh of the pivot table using slicer is updating the map. What about the order date? Let's use a timeline slicer to easily filter the data by order month or year. Usually a dashboard is a combination of charts and tables combined with interactivity. I will copy the pivot table to keep connections to my existing slicers. Next I will prepare a bar chart for top 10 customers. I will use top 10 filter and sort customers by sales value. I'm adding also chart labels. At the end I move the chart next to my map. Of course I could create many more charts and pivot tables and design a full dashboard for my audience.